Hey guys, I'm Sarah. I'm Caitlin. And we are your best friends. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Welcome to our channel. And if you hear a puppy crying in the background, it's because there is one. That's Duncan. Insert picture of Duncan. Yep. He's behind the camera right now. Don't you mind him. <laughs> Nala is also on the ground. Yeah, Got my all dog. Our animals. All right. So, with all of that being said, today is a Christian college girl, girl current obsessions video. So basically, our current obsessions, but for Christian college girls, maybe or otherwise. Yeah. yeah. We're trying to get into that little niche, you know, trying to help a Christian college girl out. Yeah. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about some things you want to be obsessed with, some things that you want to implement, maybe some suggestions to uh, spoof up your life. That's right. So that's the kind of video that you're watching today, Fran. Yep. Duncan, no. Be quiet. No. Go to sleep. Night, night time. Okay. Before we get into it, please subscribe to this channel. Join our friend group. We love having you here so much. And we'll just get into the video. Yep. Let's jump in. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so first, Christian college girl current obsession are two free things that you can download on your laptop because we know in college you be using your laptop all the time. All the time. Okay, the first one is less functional and more aesthetic and it is this screensaver. I didn't know that was like, okay. Okay, so That's cool. it's really popular. You may have seen it on... <laughs> You may have seen it on like TikTok and stuff in those like aesthetic videos, but I will link it down below. It's just a really cute screensaver and it always like has the time on it. And huh. it's just really aesthetic. Like when you're sitting in the library and you take a break and then like it kind of brings me peace seeing this little thing Dude, going. I didn't know that was an intentional thing. Yeah, but yeah. I didn't know you, wow. That's Takes cool. like two seconds to download. Super wow. easy. That's okay. cute. That's laptop thing number one. Laptop thing number two is more practical. It's called Notion and it's basically a planning app if you like organizing things and like setting, like keeping track of goals and stuff like that, it's kind of like a Google Sheet, but it does everything in a really aesthetic way. And you can do like your week planner on there and it has templates for your class notes. Ooh, it's, cool. it's just really cool, especially if you're like me and you like to like have documents and like make fun things and be really organized. Literally anything you can think of, you can make a document for. And there's cool features and buttons that you can make. You can totally geek out and organize your whole life. So definitely, oh. as a college student and you're busy, this is fun. Okay, Notion. I'll put the link down below so you can download it. It's totally free. That's the best part. Wow. So probably at first, they'll have to get used to it. But that work at first is worth it. Because yeah. Because if, if you get good at it, you will be organized for years to come. And it's pretty It's pretty easy. Okay. I'll say that. It's very user friendly. So okay. if you're not that good with computers, it's it's pretty easy. So my first college girl, Christian girl obsession is my new iPad. Woohoo! I filmed an iPad unboxing video, but it's not live quite yet. However, this is the iPad fifth generation. So it's like, it's the iPad Air. That's what it is. And I got it in purple. I have a case on it and everything. This is the home screen. I'll do a screen recording as well. Yeah, but it's very cute. Yes, the reason why I'm putting this one in there, now like, it was about 800 something dollars to get everything set up and to have, um, there's a student discount too, by the way. So Ooh, I got- That's the, good for college people. I got the iPad for like 700 something dollars. I bought it from Apple. And then I got a hundred dollar gift card because I still had my student like ID or whatever, student email. And then they give me $100 and I bought a Mac keyboard with that. Is $99 for that keyboard, so boom. And then I got a case and that was it. That's how my iPad set up. Now I am, I typically am not like one of those aesthetic y people. Like it, it's like a little bit more mind challenging to do all of that stuff. But I did make my iPad aesthetic. I took a few hours actually to like make, make the cute. icons cute. Yes. Um, it felt weird at first spending hours just to make something aesthetic, but I'm being silly because you put in all that time and now for m years and years, like I have a reward of having a system that I really appreciate on my iPad. And I will say with my walk with God, having this iPad for me when I bought it, I did ask God to bless this purchase, to bless this decision. And my walk with God has gotten even more sweeter because 
I just like will plop this thing up, you know, and I'll be watching certain messages on here. I'll listen to music even on like YouTube and it just really enhanced like a lot of parts of my life and I truly believe is because like God bless the purchase. And so that's my first Christian girl college obsession. If you don't have the money for it, don't don't make a purchase that you cannot do right now. You don't need it that bad. But for college, like, it, it would be extremely beneficial. Yeah, it's fun. It's organizing. Yeah. And That's I fun. will say, I have not, it's, I don't even know if you know this, I have not used my my MacBook Pro since getting this since iPad. Getting the iPad. It's wow. kind of awkward, but, like, there hasn't been a need. I have everything I need on the iPad. So, if you do need a cheaper alternative for a new laptop, mm -hmm. it really isn't the worst thing for to have. And it's more compact, too, because your yeah. laptop's bigger. So, yeah. Especially if you get the whole setup with the keyboard and everything. Done. Boom. Yes, so now what's yours? Next current obsession is one that Sarah and I both have. Whoa. Curology. Okay? This is not an ad. Like, we're literally We're not. Freely. But, like, please sponsor our channel so that we Curology, can. Curology, give us money for this. Yes. Okay, these I'll are take all. take 100K. <laughs> <laughs> these are all the products. Okay, Curology, for those of you who don't know, it is basically a skincare subscription where you fill out a personalized like test yeah. and then a dermatologist sends you like all the things you need. So a cleanser mm -hmm. and then a custom formula. This is mine, made just for me. Um, like a makeup remover, everything you need. And it's, keep, keep talking. And it tells you like what you need to do, how often you need to wash your face, how often you need to put that on, how often you need to put on sunscreen, all these things. It sends it to you in this really aesthetic cute box. And for me, I always wanted to have a good skincare routine, but I just did not have the time and the energy to research I what know. I needed for my skin. It's so annoying. There's too much information. I know. And so, so many products. So many products to buy. It feels like I'm going to spend like hundreds of dollars trying to get the perfect skin. What if it doesn't work? So uh -huh. you're like, oh. And so with Curology, you literally, you know what? We're not getting sponsored for this, but we do have a referral link. <laughs> and <laughs> hey... If you sign up, one of us will get twenty dollars. So we'll so put tell our, them your link. So we'll put our link in the description. And please, yeah, please, actually, give us twenty dollars, <laughs> <laughs> and you will get. You just have to pay for shipping, and they'll send you all those products I just showed you, and you can try it out, and it'll last you like a month and a half, and then you can decide if you want to keep it up. Yeah, it is cheap. It's five dollars for the first yeah month or two, and then after that, it could be anywhere from like mm -hmm. seventy a month to a hundred a month. Yeah, um, mine is gonna be. Well, mine's going to be like $60 every two months. So yeah, true. It could be lower. It could be a lot cheaper, yeah. And my skin's already been looking better. Sarah mine said too. hers has been looking better. I'm Somebody mistook me for a high schooler the other day, so I am just aging you, in reverse. Do you have makeup on, actually? I have a light foundation on. Okay, it looks like good. And that was my thing. My skin just had like little bumps all over it. It was fine. I just, it wasn't smooth. And I didn't want to do the research. Yeah. So. <laughs> Love it. Good for people like us. Yes. Okay, my next one is a piece of clothing. I actually thank God for this suggestion. It's actually the shorts that I'm wearing. You can plug in like a cute picture too. Yeah, I, I love will, that color. I know, right? So I got these from Target and um, the brands are Joy Lab and All in Motion. I have two different style shorts, different colors. They look the same, but it's two different brands, Joy Lab and All in Motion. And I wrote this in my notes, but Okay, there's like a term called gatekeeping. I've heard certain YouTubers use and it's like the person who gatekeeps is the one who has like cute things but doesn't share because they don't want it to like be copied or something. And like naturally, I don't like being copied, but for you guys and for the sake of being a Jesus follower, all I have is his. I will say everyone get these shirts from Target because they are so cute. They're even appropriate in the sense of they're loose. You know, I'm not against biker shorts. I'm not against tight shorts unless you have a conviction, with, like you're very convicted wearing it. These though still are a nice alternative that let's say you live in a sunny state, you have youth group or something, you can still pop these on with a cute t-shirt and it's like a very loose, but yet super cute outfit. So I love How much shirts. were they? Do you remember? Yeah, mine were $24. Okay. But Target does a lot of sales. And so I think just today, not like it'll apply to you maybe, but they were like lowered to $17. Well, and that's a good thing too, because most people like the Lululemon running shorts and are looking for dupes. And those are like 60 bucks. So. Yeah, I, I wear these shorts all the time. So that's my Christian college girl obsession. And also in 
like college, you walk around a lot and it's exactly. Really casual, I ones. wish if these shorts were around when I was in college, oh, I don't I'd be wearing these color. all the time. I'd be getting compliments every other minute. Wow, You'd I'd be, be married. Voted, <laughs> I'd be married. I'd be voted number one student. <laughs> Number one student. <laughs> that's just that's it. Not smart. At a not, university of fifty thousand, number one. Number one student. She's the best for no <laughs> no reason. Just she is. <laughs> Next is a book. I know my Christian college girls love to, to read. read. Okay. It's a little ice latte or a yeah. matcha latte next to it. Mm, what if I? Okay. Yeah. So this book. Um, it's a pretty popular book. Like I'd heard of it before someone gave it to me, yeah. but I really recommend reading it. It's called Gentle and Lowly by Dane Ortland, The Heart of Christ for Sinners and Sufferers. Wow. It's like a devotional book. Um, and every chapter, it just like, really breaks down like the heart of Jesus and who he really is. And I just would not recommend this to a specific person. Like, I feel like everyone Everything. would really get something out of it. Once I really like a book, I just want to read through the whole thing. But I've been trying to just be yeah. self-controlled and, like, read one chapter a week. Yeah. Or every few days to really soak it in. But, man, there's just stuff in here that's, like, we really need to hear about who God is. I'm really learning. Like, I'm really learning. Like, yes, we know, like, Jesus loves us and he forgives us and stuff like that. But I'm actually learning new things about Jesus that I never realized before. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil any of the book. I was just about to yeah. say something. But definitely, definitely such a good book. Order, order, order. Order. Boom. And follow us on Instagram, Sarah and Caitlin. You've been doing a series called Who is Jesus? Yes. So I'm sure inspired by that book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So follow us on Instagram. Yes. We post a lot of great things. Even greater things coming. If you don't follow our Instagram yet, please mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. My final one, and then I'm just gonna tag mm -hmm. along the rest of yours, mm -hmm. is not an item or material. It's people's YouTube channels. Because I've gotten the iPad, I've really been sometimes in college. You know, you have free time, and in college, you think that your life is boring if there's a Friday night where you have nothing to do, right? That's happened to all of us. I mean, some of us in college, like there are so many events and like we get very busy, but then it's kind of sad because then you just have this one day where you have nothing to do and you feel like you have no life, even though the last six days you've been doing things. Yeah. And so um, in having this iPad, it's really given me eyes to see that there's so many wonderful YouTube channel ministries and if you have moments of silence or moments throughout your day, I highly suggest you either take those moments of silence to just be with the Lord or also grow a little bit in uh, your walk with him and learn a little bit more. And you can find wonderful messages on YouTube. So I will tell you some channels that I personally, personally recommend. These aren't Caitlin's recommendations. These are mine. And then they'll all be linked down below once again. Yes. So there's a guy named Alex Wilson. He goes by like Amen Alex. He posts a lot of things about like dealing with lustful stuff and all sorts of, all sorts of things. But I just think his heart is so for Jesus and he, he really breaks things down in a very practical and powerful way for us to walk empowered. And then there's a church called Hungry Generation in Washington and Florida. So check out their YouTube channel. Did I just say in Florida? I meant to say in the United mm -hmm. States. Yeah, you said in Florida. Yeah, in the United States, they in Washington, they're seeing a lot of breakthroughs because of Jesus Christ. And so they talk about a lot of um, very deep spiritual things and also just your messages to grow as a believer. So you go from being a baby, being milk fed to being mature in Christ. Then there's a guy named Prophet Lovi. You guys got to check him out. You will definitely, God will open your eyes even more to just like how real God is. Because I know I've loved God since I was a little girl, but maybe for you, like you believe in God, but it's it's different from believing in God to like knowing God is really listening to you. He really knows you like all the time. So check out Prophet Lovi. And then the last two is David Diga Hernandez. He has a church in Florida. Lots of powerful messages there for some questions that you might hear certain terms at church um, and you don't understand it. He talks a lot about those things and breaks it down very biblically. And then lastly, VU Church, V-O-U-S. It's in Miami, Florida by a pastor named Rich Wilkerson and Don Wilkerson. And they are just a couple who genuinely, when you listen to them and you have a heart for Jesus, like you see that they have a passion for people as well. So those are some YouTube channels that I really wanted to 
emphasize and suggest and recommend that you watch, listen to, and grow as a woman or man in Christ. The last college really obsession that I have been into lately is thrifting. And now I know thrifting has been a big trend for a few years. For a long time. Yeah. Well, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, but really in the last like 10 years or so, thrifting, especially among our generation, has gotten so popular. Like good gift prices right. are it going right. up. You know, Macklemore Drop, Thrift Shop, all these things, you know, when we're in middle what? school. Yeah. What? what? Um, so it's been around, but if you haven't done it, I would actually consider that you really try it before going and buying brand new clothes. Because, Honestly. Okay, so I'm just going to I'm gonna show you one thing I got from the thrift store, and then Sarah will show you another, and then I'm going to elaborate more on this. Okay, I found these pants. I've been looking for, I'm going to plug in a picture too, but I've been looking for a pair of just like, nude colored like long pants that are like aesthetic because I've seen them in outfits on Pinterest and I found these from a thrift store they're a hundred I read the label Sarah read the label for me I just thought they were cute and Sarah goes dude these are a hundred percent silk pants silk worms okay silk worms this this is made out of worm poop <laughs> um and I will plug in a picture like I said so these are expensive pants you've got a poopy outfit five dollars guys and they fit me wow. amazingly wow. they fit me amazingly I would have paid wow. hundreds of dollars for these pants I've been looking for a pair God. of pants so I could have got a dupe like not made out of silk, so it would have been cheaper looking, and probably you made like fifty bucks. Can you imagine? I paid five dollars, guys. Yeah. Um, and, and you guys show them what you got. My mom says I wear this all the time. Yeah, I'm you, you guys, this is like a style thing, okay? But I got this cute denim, whatever. And come on, like you do wear it. You a lot see, of I wear it all the time. That's I was good like, though. I was like, why do you wear that all the time? You see a girl like me walking down the street, you're like, whoa, who's that chick? She's amazing. <laughs> I vote her number one student. <laughs> oh my gosh. Number one student. So I got this at the thrift store. It was literally like $2.50. It is. It is worth it. Yeah. So like for me, I've been having a desire to just have clothes that fit my personal style more, that represent who I am a little bit more. I could go to like Zara or something online and drop like $300, but why would I do that? When I could just go to the thrift store once a week and find a good piece here and there. I'm not saying like shopping at full price is bad, but like seriously, try just it. Just with a little bit of attention, you could save some money. Exactly. And if you haven't had a good experience with thrifting, you chances are not going to the right thrift shop because yeah. there is such thing as like good thrift shops and bad thrift shops. Definitely. Me personally, I wouldn't recommend Goodwill. That might be controversial, but they are like... It's getting like overrated. Like it's it's, it's gotten like, so it was popular that everything's gone out of there. Everything's so expensive too. They raise uh, their prices. Like these pants would not be five dollars a good one. They'd be like fifteen. You want your local thrift shop? Yeah, local thrift shops. And as if you are a college student, you're probably gonna get better things because the people donating in your area are oh, also college gorgeous. students, so they have your style. This so either there or drive to like a wealthy area and go to the local or the thrift North shop. Pole. Or the North Pole as Antarctica. Antarctica. Santa Claus. Yes. But yes, wealthy area, because um, rich people will donate nice things like silk pants, or you're in college. Yeah. And it's really fun. So just make an intention to go like once a week if you want to start getting cute clothes. The key though is being consistent because yeah. you don't want to buy something every time because yes. sometimes you will just walk home with crap. Yeah. And I'll say this lastly and then I'm done. Yeah. Don't buy what you think is cute on other people. Buy what is what you will wear all yes. the time. Just trust us. Buy what accentuates you. Yeah. You and not you are not him or her. Mm -hmm. You are you. And so that's why you love these pants because they sue you. If I was to get those pants, I'd probably wear them one time because I know it works mm -hmm. on me. And if so. I was going to get that denim jacket or a shirt, I wouldn't wear it. Yeah. So get what works for you. I know you're in college. Mm -hmm. You should know this already, but we're we're here reminding yes. you. That's all I got. That's all I got. Please subscribe to our channel. Turn on the notification bell so you can get notifications when our videos come out. And we really want to do a big push to get everyone who's on here on our Instagram so that we can be yeah. more engaged with you guys on a daily basis. So come please, on. if you're watching this, don't hesitate at Sarah and Caitlin on Instagram right now. Go give us a follow and God bless you. Our goal is a thousand followers. Okay. So get yeah. us there. Get, get us there. there. You can do it. You can do it. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye. Oh.